Hello and welcome to Around the World in 274 Days. And today we are in Rome. The incredible city of Rome. And uh, we're going to spend the next two hours just kind of walking around on our own. Seeing what we can see. Then we're going to get back on our bus, go somewhere for a really nice lunch. And then we're heading to the Forum and then the Colosseum. Rome is not only capital of Italy, uh, but it is also uh, considered to be the cradle of Western civilization, the Western Christian culture, and the center of the Catholic Church. Speaking of the Catholic Church, here we are in St. Peter's Square, which is inside Vatican City, and the uh, large uh, church off in the distance is uh, St. Peter's Beth uh, Basilica. The artwork within the uh, square is, uh, is breathtaking. Rome was one of the seven wonders of the world that uh, uh, Royal Caribbean uh, provided a, a special lunch or dinner for us. Uh, we had to pass the centurions to get to this uh, luncheon. Uh, I'll say that the lunch wasn't all that great, but the building we were in, as you can look at the ceiling, uh, was pretty spectacular. Um, uh, so despite the lunch, uh, it was worth going. They also provided us with uh, some interesting entertainment. ancient Roman road and if you look closely you can still see wagon or chariot grooves in the rocks. The Colosseum is in the center of the city. It's the uh, largest ancient amphitheater ever built and it's still the uh, largest standing amphitheater in the world despite its age. Construction began in uh, 69 AD and was completed in 80 AD. The Colosseum could hold between uh, 50 and 80,000 spectators at various points in history. The average attendance was around 65,000. It was used for gladi gladiator contests, public spectacles including animal hunts, executions, reenactment of famous battles dram and dramas based on Roman mythology. Here you can see that the uh, stage or floor of the uh, Colosseum has been uh, rebuilt and uh, that's actually where the gladiators and the animals and the shows were and underneath was literally two storage or two stage uh, stories of uh, uh, cages for animals and places for gladiators to uh, to wait and to uh, uh, to practice and to uh, be ready for the show. Besides gladi gladiators, they used a lot of wild animals from Africa, including panthers, leopards, bears, rhinoceroses, elephants, crocodiles, just to name a few. Battles and hunts were often staged in elaborate sets with movable trees and buildings. These events were huge in scale. Um, at one point, uh, celebrating a victory, 
uh, it was 11,000 animals, 10,000 gladiators over a course of 123 days. During lunch intervals, executions were conducted with the condemned being sent into the arena naked and unarmed to face beasts of death, which would literally tear them to pieces. Can't imagine anybody wanting to watch that, but I guess they did. Our last stop of the day was the Roman Forum. It's a rectangular uh, plaza surrounded by ruins of several important ancient government buildings that were at the center of the city of Rome. Uh, the citizens used to call it Forum Magnum, or just simply the Forum. For centuries, the Forum was the center of day-to-day -day life in Rome, a uh, site of triumphal possess, possess, processions, um, and a venue for public speaking. Many of the oldest and most important structures um, of, ancient, of the ancient city were located on or near the Forum. The Roman Kingdom's earliest shrines and temples were located on the southeastern edge. These include the ancient former royal residence, the Temple of Vista, as well as the surrounding complex of, of the Vestal Virgins, all of which were built after the rise of, the imper of Imperial Rome. Changes within the city, plus the, uh, the fall of the uh, Roman Empire and other conquerors, uh, plus just uh, time, has left many of these uh, wonderful uh, buildings in ruins. Uh, but there is enough left to uh, kind of get a glimpse of what the glory of Rome was. And to uh, it was just fun to walk through and try to visualize in one's mind what it used to be. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel Around the World in 274 Days and hit the like button. Also leave us a comment and let us know uh, what you think of our videos and what we could do to make them better. Thanks for watching.